Hi guys, this is a video on how I did this hair. It's pink, purple, blue, and then like turquoise, light blue at the bottom. Um, that's my husband in the background. Uh, so yeah, it's all manic panic as usual, hot, hot pink, and then a mix of hot, hot pink and ultraviolet, and then ultraviolet, and then shocking blue, and then atomic turquoise. Um, so yeah, if you wanna know how I did this, keep watching. So yeah, anyway, before we start, uh, my hair before I put dye in it was washed with shampoo and nothing else. There was no product in it. That's why it looked frizzy as hell. It wasn't straightened either, as my hair is now. And yeah. I've just got my camera balancing on the edge of something. Hope it's not going to fall over. Basically, my hair used to be vampire red. It's still quite true to that color, just at the very base, like where the bleach stuff meets the root, um, and the rest of it has faded into a nice squid purple. Um, so yeah, I'm considering it light enough to dye over. And yeah, without further ado, I'm going to part my hair, put on some gloves, and start with the dye. I will try and do all of this in frame. I can't make any promises. Personally, I like to use vinyl vinyl gloves as opposed to latex because latex sticks to the hair whereas vinyl does not. So you will actually find yourself pulling out a lot of your hair accidentally if you use latex gloves. So part my hair. Crash
So yeah, that was how I did this hair. I left the dye in overnight for about six, seven hours while I was sleeping and then I washed it out in the morning with eh, warm water, not too hot because hot water will take out more dye. And then I dried it and straightened it and stuff. Yeah. Hope you guys like the video. <laughs> Hi, Teddy. Mm. Say hello to the world. It's Teddy Bear. It's Teddy Bear. <laughs>